Hi guys, I'm so sorry. I kind of lost you for a minute there. Everything just dropped out on me. Yeah, okay. Sorry, we were live a moment ago. And then I uh, lost you. My connectivity just totally dropped for no reason. Just, just, uh, you just went away. Oh, thanks. Thank you guys for coming back. Aww. I'm so happy. Okay. We were just about to paint this nose together. I want to do that with you. Okay. We're going to try to paint this here nose thing. Thanks for coming back to those of you who have come back. Um, I'm not sure how long I'll be streaming, how much I'll get done on stream, but we can hang out for a while. Thank you so much to anybody who's hanging out again. Yeah, it, um, I started a second stream, but it just wouldn't, wouldn't go through. I couldn't connect. So it might have been there for a couple seconds, but it wasn't really working. I'm just mixing colors right now. Thank you. I'm enjoying this one too. I'm going to try not to have super bright hands. I need like a, just some contrast around here. There's a really bright light where it's shining, it's coming off as very bright. Ah, Ashley Green! I will take that as a compliment. She's pretty. Do 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 gonna smear some paint. Hmm, how do I get this to like look better? On account of it looks kind of weird. Oh, thanks for asking your question again, Lacey. Let me see if I can get these colors to balance. Am I reading any books currently? So because I'm a lazy artist, I haven't been reading a ton of books, but I have been listening to lots of books. So I've been listening to lots of audiobooks. My favorite genre of book is pretty much always fantasy. Um, I really enjoy fantasy stories. So I think Brandon Sanderson might be my favorite author currently. So I've been, um, well, I don't, I shouldn't say, I guess lazy is not really the best term. I, uh, I don't. When I, I, I think about reading a book, like picking up a physical book and reading it, but then I go, but then I can't do anything else with my hands. Like I can't draw or paint. So audiobooks have been a nice um, workarounds for that. Yeah. So I really like Brandon Sanderson. I love fantasy books. Favorite song right now? Hmm. A favorite song. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. That's really hard. <sighs> Let's see. I've been listening to a lot of Key Granis. Do you guys know her? She uh, makes YouTube videos. She has been for several years. And she makes, um, she does covers, but she also has some really beautiful original work. So I really enjoy her music. I really like Mumford and Sons. I, I do also really like BTS, so I've been listening to their new album a lot. Anything that I can get like emotionally invested in is good music for me, to be honest. If it's gonna tug at my heartstrings with like good vocals, love that, love that, love that. Okay. Somebody asked a question about traveling, I think. 
Yes, I do like BTS. I don't really like Billie Eilish. Eilish? How do you say her name? Uh, I don't, um... I'm not, I don't like have a strong dislike. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm bumping this thing so much. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't have necessarily anything super against her. her. Her music just doesn't appeal to me very much. I'm also, I know I do like surreal art, but I'm also really not into um, cre super creepy stuff, which seems a little ironic because of the art that I do. Eilish. Oh, okay, thank you. Eilish. Okay, that's helpful. Okay, Avril Lavigne. Somebody asked about Avril Lavigne. When I was a young person, like a preteen and a teenager, I loved Avril Lavigne so much. I was right in that age group where she was doing a lot of her, like, punk rock stuff. The new stuff she's put up, at least on YouTube, that's what I've seen. I don't know. It doesn't really appeal to me that much. Um, but her, her old stuff is really nostalgic to me. <laughs> oh boy, the army's coming out now. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, so you guys are getting a little bit of a glare, actually, on this thing. The light's not super great, but that's a hard thing about acrylics, is they are a bit shiny. So it's actually just kind of difficult to get this properly, you know, showing. You guys have any other questions about music or things that I like? I like this. I like it's nice getting to hang out. My tea's almost gone. Hmm. Yeah, maybe with with a Miss 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 Eyelash. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry. I know that's not her name. <laughs> Eilish, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe with her music, I should try just listening to the music, like on Spotify or something, outside of the realm of her music videos. I don't know. We'll see. Current favorite color. It depends what context. Are we talking about color to wear, or color to paint with, or color in nature? Like, what... Um, what, what are we trying to figure out about colors here? Oh, it's a paint with. Um, probably, I think I talked about this a little bit in the beginning of the stream, like a salmon-y pink color. I really like to paint with. It's There's not a ton of it going on in this painting. Something close to like in here, but that that's a little too desaturated, that color. I love, love that. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do I watch anime? Yeah. I haven't watched a ton of anime super recently, but I, like so many other artists, when I first got started with art, I thought that's what I wanted to do, you know, was to draw anime. So when I was a teenager, I drew a lot of anime, and it was a mess. It was fun. It was a fun mess, of course. Um, it was definitely a mess. <laughs> I watched the first season of Attack on Titan, and um, who knows, um, make me a squeamish baby, but it's just a bit too violent for me. I just don't need that in my life. That's actually also a big reason why I don't watch Game of Thrones. Just don't need all the violence and sex and stuff. Don't need it. Um, I think I'm going to back you guys up a bit. Yeah, I grew up with anime. So, watched a lot of, like, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Sailor Moon, Cowboy Bebop, Fooly Cooly, Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh my goodness, I loved it so much as a kid. Ah, Full Metal Alchemist, yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Do I like using water-based markers? No. <laughs> if you mean, like, like, the water brush pens, like, Arteza has those sets, um... I don't, I don't like them. I thought I would, but I would prefer to just use watercolors. To be honest, that's actually probably the product that the companies, that companies contact me the most about to review. I'm going to back you guys up because I've been working on some other stuff on here and I want you to be able to see the whole thing. Um...
what do I think of the anime art style? I think people who draw anime and can do it really well are really, really, really skilled artists. I admire that a lot. There's a lot of work that goes into it, and I admire that very much. So I'm backing you guys up here so we can have a little bit of a fuller look at this piece. Turning a little bit towards the light. Here we go. Excuse me. Okay. Let's see. Where's my brush? Where's my brush? What am I doing? I want to define the ears a bit, I think. A favorite color or shade of watercolor. Hmm. Oh, it's 2.15 a.m. That definitely sounds like you should sleep. That's a very, very late time. Do I I don't know, a favorite, what was it? Favorite color or shade. I'm really into reds. I, I often think I'm going to omit reds from particular pieces like this one, and then I just don't do it because I love them so much. I love adding red to figures. I just think it has so much power. It gives so much life to them. Yeah, you guys, oh, sleep is important. And this year is doing Inktober. Will I do Inktober this year? I don't know. It was fun last year, but I don't I don't know if I'll do it this year or not. I'm gonna kind of bring out the ears a bit here. It's gonna be fun. And if I keep you guys further back, you'll be able to see the ears come come to life from where you are. So that'll be fun. These little details, the combination of little details and larger shapes. I feel like that's what makes a painting successful for me. It's like I have some obviously really big brush strokes, but I'm also going to be bringing together some, some smaller shapes like the nose and the ears. And that's going to help this piece to work so much better, I think. Aww. Thank you for asking. Yes, I will be saving these streams on my channel. So the uh, first one will probably be up very soon, as soon as it's done processing. And then I will make sure this one gets saved to the channel as well. Thank you for asking. Do I have a favorite gouache brand? Um, not sure. Holbein's nice. I love M. Graham gouache. Very nice quality. Um, oh, I'm liking this a lot more now, you guys. Adding this like pinky peachish color, which is kind of close to what I said was my favorite color to paint with. Not quite, it's kind of close has been really helpful for this piece for me. Oh, uh, art clicked and then left. I totally understand. Sometimes I have a piece that just comes together so easily. Like I have a concept and as soon as I start sketching, I go, you know what? This one's gonna work. I know this is gonna work. And then as soon as I start the next thing, sometimes it's like, oh man, that feeling's gone. Like, where did it go? I know exactly what you mean, and it can be really frustrating. I hear you. Like when art just clicks, you know, like you just get it for a little while. Maybe it's one piece, maybe it's more than one piece, and then that click just like disappears. Oh yeah, I hear you. It comes, it comes and goes. Like sometimes it'll really make sense and sometimes it won't. Sometimes that has to do with like whether or not you're warmed up or your where your brain is at. If you're growing, if you're getting better and developing, like your brain will start to see things that you didn't see before. It just it depends. I think this piece is really starting to come together. Yeah, the ugly face that seems to linger. Yeah, whether it's early on in the in the in the piece or it comes back later. I hear you. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be turned into a piece that I like. But I think it's actually starting to come together, and that makes me really happy. What paper do I use for my gouache paintings? I would say that with gouache, I generally can be a little bit less picky than with watercolors. I do use watercolor paper most of the time, but with gouache, I can also use some thinner mixed media paper, and it works because it, it's not as picky as watercolors can be for gouache because I don't use quite as much water. Um... So a watercolor paper or a mixed media paper will work. Yeah, this is acrylic. Yep, 
yep, yep, yep, yep. Do I have any OCs? <laughs> I do. When I first started um, doing art, the reason that I started making art again a few years ago was because I wanted to make a comic. I haven't talked about this very much, but I wanted to make a comic, and so I have several stories that I worked on, and I love them all, and all got varying amounts of planning. But then the, the work I started doing just started shifting over time. And I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with what I'm doing right now with, with my art and my job and stuff. Maybe I'll get back to those stories. Oh, you follow my comic on Instagram. I'm sorry I kind of dropped that. It just, the timing's just not, wasn't quite right, you know? I mean, it was fine while I was doing it, but now I'm doing other things and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Anyway, I hope you guys are okay with that if you follow that comic account. Um, but yes, I have some stories that I really love and I really want to tell. Aw, Lacey, thanks. Oh, half day at school, that's nice. Thank you for, for spending time with me here. I appreciate your support very much. Okay, so I'm, I'm at the point now where I don't want to keep fiddling with this. I need to make a decision about what it needs and how far it is from being done. Oh, bean stream art. Oh, I don't even I don't even know if I knew about that. Hashtag. Please do use it and I will check it and I will share stuff if I can. Um, if you use that hashtag, especially on Instagram. I I don't really use Twitter, but Thanks, guys. Ooh, guinea pigs. I love guinea pigs. Yeah, good luck on your exams. You can do it. Okay, I've mixed up some more of this salmon-y pink color to put all, probably in too many places. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, let me guys know um, if the stream dropped for you. Someone said the stream dropped. I'm still here. It looks fine to me what I can see. Okay. I'm just adding in some details. Maybe last details. Don't know yet. It's fun though. Hasn't dropped. Good. Ooh, physics. I loved physics when I was in high school. Oh man. I took, um, took an AP physics class. It was one of my most favorite classes ever. I loved it so much. Physics. Love physics. Sorry, my elbow's like right in your way. Sorry, guys. I'm going to hold my arm at a really awkward angle so that I cannot have it be in your face. I hope. Is it still in your face? No, it's not. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, this, this shade of pinkish color is like my favorite. We're just about there on this one, I think. I might adjust the background a little so there's um, more of a difference between the background and the foreground. Maybe, oh, I think I regret that last stroke. I think that one was a bad idea. Do we have any blue? Can we just cover this up? Can I just make a big mess? Okay, cover that up, go away. Oh, what are we doing here? Aw, thank you. You guys are nice. I like you guys. Okay. Let's come in close here. Let's do some critical thinking. Think about where we're at and what we need. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Okay, so this is what we have. This is where we're at. What do we need? What's missing? What do we like? I like the ears. Thinking about um, adjusting the contrast in the background. I think I like not having a mouth and leaving it that way. The nose might need a little bit more defining. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Brave Paperclip. Let's see. 
dark blue contours. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking something in the background too. I don't want to distract too much from the texture in the figure. I want that to be a focus. So I want to keep the um, background a bit flatter. That green, yeah. More of the green, mm-hmm. Reese's is R-E-E-S-E-S. R-E-E-S-E-S. -E 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 Reese's peanut butter cups, I believe. Is that right? Oh yeah, blue and gold go so nicely together. Maybe I'll add, I don't usually use gold paint to be honest, um, but maybe I'll add a little just because there is some, like Arteza sent me gold in this set. So maybe I will extend a little bit of a bluish green. I don't want to mess with the contrast too much. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Okay, you know what, we're just going to try it. We're just going to see what happens. The background a deep red Ooh. I feel like if I made the background red these pink values wouldn't stand out as much hmm this is acrylic paint by the way Ooh. yeah r-e-e-s-e-s -E -E yeah <laughs> not Reese's Yeah, if the dark round, if the background's darker, it'll pop more. I do like this bit of yellow. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to mix a deeper color for the background and maybe add some gold accents. Does that sound good? Okay, let's do it. So I don't want to, I don't know if I want to use this big beast again, or if I want to just use this flatter brush. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I use the flatter one to at least mix a gold contour, gold tears. Ooh, I like these ideas. Gold tears might be a good idea. And then maybe some gold vertical strips to kind of mirror that. Yeah, blue and gold is an amazing, amazing color combo. We're getting close. We're getting close here, guys. It's happening. I'm noticing this is wonky, like this is like going this way. Oh, well. Okay. Can you guys see this okay? I hope it's not too shiny with the light on it. We're going to leave it like that. Oh, I just stuck my fingers in the paint. Stuck it in the paint. paint. Okay. Going to deepen the background a little bit. I don't want to lose all these strokes. Also, this is like dry. It feels a little plasticky. Okay. Um. Oh boy. 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 This is hard. This is hard. Oh, I can't decide. Okay, we're just gonna do it. I need a lot more blue and a lot more white. Yeah, save as, like save this version of the painting just in case. So just in case, let me just let you guys know what size, oh gosh, the canvas is like stuck. Ugh. So this is a, what is this? 16 by 20 inch canvas, by the way. This is a big one. This is the biggest canvas I've ever painted on. Okay, I got a bunch more blue in my palette that phthalo blue. I'm going to mix some white into it. We're just going to see what happens here, guys. So what does this blue look like? So this is very phthalo here. And this brush would keep things a bit softer. Hmm. I The phthalo blue is such a poppy color. I actually really like that about it. Yeah, I think a lot of my work, somebody mentioned like a manifestation of depression. I think a lot of my work kind of um, leans toward or um, what's the right phrasing? Um, 
I don't know, shines light on mental health, maybe? I don't know. Cause I, I, partly because I do a lot with, like, figures. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is very emotional. I, I do want my art to feel emotional and vulnerable. That's something that I really love. Somebody mentioned that to me once. They said that my art felt vulnerable, and I loved that so much. I loved that statement and I wanted to kind of cling to that. Ooh, like a release of negativity. I love that. That's nice. I don't know if I'm actually making any improvements to the background here. I'm just kind of making it more saturated. Mmm, a piece about listening? Yeah. Because the eyes aren't really the focus. That's a good idea. I like that. Um, I didn't really set out with a specific theme that I wanted to convey with this piece. Ooh, if loneliness could be beautiful. That's gorgeous. I like that idea. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about covering up this green, and maybe I could lay something in again, but I don't know. I don't know how much of a surface the green is, is popping, or how much of a surface, or oh my goodness, how much of a purpose the green is serving. Let's just try covering up this side and see what we think. That's the great thing about acrylics, is if I decide I want it back, I can get it back. Cause, because then maybe we could focus on our gold or something else to um, to bring back that focus. What do you think? Is covering that up a good idea? Gold halo is not a bad idea. I don't know if I want to add a circular aspect when right now we have very linear, like going up and down, you know? makes the face pop more. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that having more of a, um, a darker value around the head makes the face pop more. So we'll do that for this one. This is a little bit lighter blue. And then I want the, the values to kind of um, be less contrasting up here. So that's a little bit lighter. It's all very, 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 very blue. I don't even know what I'm mixing right now. It's a mess. Oh good, yeah. I want the face to be the focal point, so I'm glad that you guys are seeing that. I'm gonna cover it up again. This is a bit more greenish, which, let me try that. A bit of water. Okay, so sorry, you know, I'm kind of in the way here. Oh, yeah, look at that. So it really does feel like there's more of a focus on the figure now. Isn't that interesting? So interesting. I mean, I know I painted it, but it's interesting. Like, I I did it, but maybe draw this in as a background color. Sorry, I know I keep like pulling myself in front of the... Hmm. Hmm. Any favorite books? Oh, I love books. Um, I mentioned a little bit earlier that I really enjoy Brandon Sanderson, so his, I don't, his, um, that Mistborn trilogy, I was my first introduction to Brandon Sanderson, and I love that. Mixing the edges of the background a little bit. 
Mm, yeah, like blending it out just a bit. Um, my favorite book of all time is uh, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Love that book. A couple people are stuck. Oh, I think I'm stuck too. Again. Oh, all this, all of the, uh... oh, you can hear me, but you can't see me. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, because it does look frozen on my screen. Give me just a 